Hi, this is Scott, Kilo Sierra 6, Delta Alpha Yankee, and for today's video, we're going to be uh, doing video number two in the operator series for the Yaesu FT65 and FT4X radios. As I mentioned in the intro video, these are all going to be shorter moving forward because they're all going to be very focused and very topic driven. So for today, it's going to be a real simple one. We're just going to be talking about how to access the two different menus that are available on this radio. The two different menus, one you're going to use quite a lot, the other one you're going to use quite an infrequently, but you still need to know how to get there for a couple of important reasons. Um, but the first menu that I talked about is the one you're going to use most frequently, and that's going to be your set menu. And that's going to be used for doing things like programming, um, uh, setting up repeaters, um, setting up things such as whether or not your radio beeps, how long your lamp turns on, uh, how you want your scan to, to function, or whether or not you want to skip a memory channel on scan. So you'll end up using that menu quite a lot. The second one um, is a systems menu, and that's going to be uh, allow you to do some uh, very dramatic things like uh, reset your radio to factory default, set your radio up for memory operation only. Um, it also is the menu that you would get into if you wanted to do a Mars cap modification on the radio, which will be the next video that we do. So let's talk first about the uh, set menu. And again, this is the one that you're going to find yourself using most often. I'll show it with both radios. And as I mentioned in the uh, first video, these videos are all going to sort of continue to point out the pretty big differences actually between the FT4X and the FT65 when we're talking about the actual internals on the radio. So to get into your set menu, all you simply do is the F key, which is the lowest key on the uh, PTT side of the radio. All you're simply going to do is just long press that. And this puts you into the menu right now. We're on uh, option number five, and we can use the up down arrow to simply move through these. If you've seen, um, if you've seen the menu on something like an FT60, it looks a lot like this. It's very, very similar in how it's laid out. Um, but in this case, let me show you real quick. Uh, if you did find something in playing around with this that you wanted to fiddle with, I'll show you how to basically navigate that. So let's say I wanted to affect how the radio beeps. Um, so I'm on the selection. All I simply do is press that F key again, short press, and it takes me to my options and I can arrow up or down through the different options. In this case, I want to keep it off. So if that's the selection I want to make, I just press the F key again and it selects that. And if I want to exit the menu, I just press the PTT and I'm out. Now, on the FT65, you're going to note right away that it's going to look quite a bit different, but you get in there just the same. Long press on the F, and now we're into that menu. Now, it does the same thing, but here it spells it out a little more clearly. You don't under have to understand some weird abbreviations that Yesu uses. It's pretty easy to sort out what you're talking about here. So we'll do the same thing with the beep. Let's say that's something that I want to mess with. I just short press the F key. It takes me to my options. I arrow up and down through my options. Again, I want to keep beep as my standard. I press the F key again, and it makes that selection. I press the PTT, and I'm out of the menu. Um, now, I will, as we're going through this series, I will be going back to that menu quite a lot and then showing you um, the different selections and breaking them down. And in some cases, there's some we won't ever talk about. But in some cases, for instance, setting your radio up for low profile ops, we might be talking about uh, killing the lamp, killing the beep, uh, a few other things. So much more to follow on that. And especially if you're going to program a repeater from the front panel, you need to know that menu. So we will be back here again quite often. Now the next menu, and we're probably only going to visit this menu twice. It'll be in this video and it'll be in the next video, and we probably won't mess with it ever again. But this is going to be your actual systems menu. Now this menu is accessed with the radio in the off condition or off state. So with the radio off to access this menu, it's kind of a three-handed operation. So I put my finger behind the volume knob here where I'm going to turn the radio on. I'm going to hold down simultaneously the PTT button and the MONI button, which is going to be the center button. So I'm going to hold both of those in, and it's a, a little tricky, so you're really going to make sure you're pressing. And I turn the radio on, and right away I see something a little different. Don't see the normal boot-up screen. What I see here is clone. Uh, these are the selections that are available with this. 
Now, if I was doing a Mars cap on the radio, I would enter a code in at this point, and uh, I would, and and the radio would actually turn itself on, turn itself off, and then I'd turn the radio off, and we'd be good to go. I will show that in the next video. But uh, to exit this menu, quite often, or quite honestly, when you go in and make a selection, it, it does act differently. We're not going to press the PTT. There's, there's a lot of stuff we're actually not going to do. I will cover that when we get to it. I don't want to get you in any trouble because, like I said, you can do some stuff such as <laughs> reset your entire radio, and we don't want to do that. So we're just going to turn this off and, and move away from this until we know more about it. Now, FT65, again, you're going to see a departure in what it looks like. So, but you're going to get there the same way. I'm going to hold those two buttons down and turn the radio on. In this case, I get nothing until I release. When I release, I actually get a memory uh, or rather a display. Um, so from here, it's, you actually have quite a few more options that you can lean into. And there's some interesting ones here like memory only, VHF only, uh, the dual display. You can fiddle with that if you want. It, Like I said, you're, you're going to be disappointed. You're not going to get what you think you're going to get with that. Um, okay. About the best thing you can get out of it is it'll show you if you have your channels named. Um, in fact, let's, let's go ahead and select. Well, no, I'll save that. I'm going to save that actually for a video, but I'll, I'll show you what that does in, I don't know, video number three or four. How about that? Um, so let's get out of this. And as I said, those are your two menus, your system menu and your set menu. In the next video, we'll be going back to the system menu, and I'm going to show you how to do the Mars cap modification on the FT4X and the FT65. It's super simple um, and, you know, something you might want to play around with. So with that, I'll bring it to a close. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. This is Scott, Kilo Sierra 6, Delta Alpha Yankee in Southwest Visalia, California, 73s.